The pomp and circumstance of college graduation is a memory to behold forever. There's nothing like a mountain of debt to dampen the celebration. According to the Federal Reserve, student debt is $1.5 trillion nationwide. In 2014, the average student owed $10,000. That's double the average amount owed just nine years before. So we're asking why our country's student loan debt has increased so much. Nationwide, the cost of a college education has been rising, and according to one expert on the topic, federal and state grants to offset the costs haven't kept pace. Georgia has fared much better than the rest of the country. Tuition rates here have increased less than 2% over the last five years. The median household income in the United States hasn't changed much since the year 2000. According to Mark Krantrowitz of SavingForCollege.com, many families are not saving for college, and many of those who do aren't saving enough. Less than 20% of U.S. families with children under 18 have invested in a 529 plan, which is a state-sponsored savings plan where earnings spent on education are tax-free. According to Krantrowitz, more than a quarter of the nation's college students graduate with excessive debt much of that coming from student loans. According to the Georgia Board of Regents, many students borrow more than they need and are unaware of what it will take to repay their loans. Because of that, the system has launched a program called No More, Borrow Less. Most of the college graduates nationwide can afford to pay off their loans, and very few default.